Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy and today's quick tip is in Adobe Photoshop and After Effects CC 2024. In this tutorial, I'm going to first show you how to create a quick and easy animated texture in Photoshop using frame animation. We'll then export the animation from Photoshop, which is only going to be a two second video. I'll then show you how you can bring it into After Effects and extend the duration of the animation for as long as you want. Open Photoshop, create a new document, so file new. I'm going to do a vertical video, so I'm going to do the width at 1080, the height at 1920, 72 ppi is fine. I'll do a transparent background, but you could also do white and click create. I'm going to drag in a couple textures that I want to animate. I'll just resize them. Click commit. I'm going to change this top blend mode. Let's try hard light. And now I'm going to animate them by opening up the timeline. So to do so, go to the window menu and choose timeline. When I click this arrow, you see you have the option to create a video timeline or a frame animation. I'm going to choose frame animation, then click the button. I'm going to duplicate this frame by clicking this little plus icon. Make sure you have the move tool selected. That's keyboard shortcut V. And what you're going to do on each frame is just move the layers randomly in just a little bit. So I'll select the top layer. I'm just clicking and just moving. I'll select the bottom layer and moving. Add a new frame. Go to the top layer. Just move it a little bit. Totally random. Bottom frame. Move it. New frame. Top frame. Move it. Bottom frame, moving. I'm just going to repeat this until I have a total of 10 frames. If I click on the first frame, then the second, you'll see because each frame is different as you cycle through the frames, that is going to cause the animation. And if I click the play icon at the bottom, we now have an animation. Now it's moving very fast. And that is because if you look below the frame where it says zero seconds, there is currently no delay between each frame, which is why it's moving so fast. I'll click on the first frame, hold the shift key, then click on the last frame. So all of the frames are now selected. Then I'm going to click on the little arrow next to where it says zero seconds. And I can choose one of these amounts right here. I can click other and enter in a custom delay amount. But I'm just going to select 0.2. Now I'll click the play icon and that is the animation. And now I'm going to export this as a video. So we'll go to the file menu, go to export and choose render video. I'm going to save it to my desktop, H.264, 1080 by 1920. I'll click render. I'll go to my desktop. There's the animation. If I press command I to bring up the info, I can see the duration is only two seconds long. So I'm going to show you now how you can bring this into After Effects and extend it for as long as you want. Create a new composition. For the preset, I'll choose the social media 1080 by 1920. So it's vertical video, 30 frames per second is fine. The duration, I'm going to set it to one minute. So I could type in 60 comma for one minute and I'll click OK. I'm going to import the video from Photoshop. By just double clicking in the project panel, selecting it from my desktop, I'm going to import it as footage, then click open. I'll drag our Photoshop animation onto the timeline, tap the space bar. The animation is working, but as you can see, it only lasts for two seconds, and I'm unable to extend it on the timeline. Here's the trick. I'm going to right click on our texture animation in the project panel, go to interpret footage main. I'll go down to other options and now you just need to enter in the number of times you want that to loop. Now I could do the math, but I'm just going to put 99 times, click OK, and now I can extend it the length of our timeline, which is currently one minute. Tap the space bar. I'll go full screen by tapping on the grab a key. And now we have ourselves a texture animation that we built in Photoshop, brought into After Effects to extend that is your quick tip in Photoshop and Adobe After Effects CC 2024. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.